fair-haired boy, the defending champion. Didn't make it in the first round, but will he make it in the second? Because this is the round in which he beat uh, Wilson Doherty, his opponent tonight, when they met uh, in the England versus Scotland match at Gateshead in January. So maybe tonight he was trying to go one better. This is the round he finished it in last time. Can he do it now? It could be that uh, young Doggerty has learned a bit more from their previous contest than Epton. totally different sort of contest from the one they had in January where maybe Doherty was overawed by the occasion and by the reputation of Epton but clearly not so tonight Epton of course an England international full of experience good right hand from Doherty that's the best punch of the entire contest and he's done it again I must say, if I, were Do if I were Epton now, I'd be getting a bit worried. He's poured everything in, and it hasn't worked, and the other boy is still strong, and occasionally producing a very dangerous right hand. That was a good punch. Left hook from Epton, and finally, Doherty has been made to wobble. What a time it took. He was stopped in the second round. The last time they met, is it going to happen again? And now Epton beginning to get through more of It looks as though the strength and defiance of Doherty has finally run out. He's got him again. In comes the referee for the second count. Another standing count. Compulsory eight. And Epton has got a cut. Epton's got a cut by the left eye. The defending champion, end of the second round. Doherty just about survives it, and Epton goes back to the corner with a cut by the side of his left eye. And that is going to worry them because the championships, the finals, come up at Wembley at the beginning of May, so there's not all that long for injuries to heal. So what drama we have in this contest tonight. So the reigning champion, the fair-haired Epton, comes up for the final round with a cut by his left eye. He was on the verge of winning in the second, and now can he stop this 17-year-old Scottish champion, Wilson Doherty, in the final round? and Epton's dying to get on with it. And now the referee's going to have a look at the cut. It's in a nasty place. It doesn't look too bad at the moment, but it's in a dangerous place underneath the eyebrow. And he's taken him to the, uh, the corner for the doctor to have a closer inspection. The third and final round, and here's the ABA defending champion, coming very close indeed to defeat there because of that injury. If Epton were to get beaten here, it would be the upset of these entire championships. And he's not home yet. Good right from Doggett. Astonishing contest. These relentless assaults by Epton threatening to stop Doherty. 
Once again a count. It's the third time he's been counted. And once more he's permitted to continue. like a whirlwind at the start of this thought he was going to get it over I suspect inside a round and didn't came close to winning in the second and didn't and here we are now with Epton cut by the left eye which won't help his Wembley prospects and having to struggle it looks right through to the final bell Epton wins this as it looks uh, as if he's going to now we'll have a repeat of last year's ABA final because Mickey Cantwell from Fisher Club is already through to this final and he lost to Epton last year at Wembley the fourth count over Doherty 17 year old Scottish champion from the Croy Miners Club the one that produced Pat Clinton He's counted him out on his feet. He went to eight. He had another look at Doherty, went to nine, and then finally completed the count because he felt that Wilson Doherty was in no condition to go on. So in that amazing contest, ends only seconds from the final bell. And Epton, the reigning champion, has got through, but what a struggle he's had. And now he's got to get that cut healed satisfactorily in order to meet Cantwell in the final at Wembley at the beginning of May.